All right, guys, Shane here with Team Fly Halo, and I am very excited today because uh, the long-awaited release of the Doberman 2 is here, and I'm just going to do an unboxing video. And the reason for that is just because of a logistics hang-up, half of my paramotors halfway across the country, I can't fly until Tuesday, so I figured I'd make a video of opening it. Um, so uh, one of the biggest differences with the Doberman 2 is that it's bigger, available in the bigger sizes to accommodate us heavier pilots. And I actually got this one in the 120 meter um, size. So that kind of explains why the box is so big, but I'm just gonna, without further words, I'm just gonna tear right into this guy. Nivik's been working on this new Doberman. They've been, their test pilots have been flying for over a year. So we've just been anxiously awaiting the release. So we are very excited. And some of its improvements are improved handling, um, slightly easier to launch, improved glide performance, and improved stability. So a better um, integrated steering system, kind of like the 2D steering system. Um, works a little bit better than the original Doberman. And, well, they actually packed this with quite a extra protection, I reckon. That's great. Put that away so I don't stab myself on camera. Oh yeah, this is pretty great. Alright, uh, smaller than I thought it'd be. Uh, it's good that factory pack job, you can never really get it as small as they get it from the factory. Oh, they actually accidentally sent me a 20 meter instead of a 120, but uh, that works. 20 meters is the right size for me anyway, so uh, I am very excited. Well, all Nivea wings come in this vacuum pack. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. Nice. Doberman 2 inner bag. That looks different. Some of the improvements are a, a new riser system with a slightly different trimmer tape design. New colors, naturally. Well, this little guy is really little. I'm just going to have a look here at the riser detail. Yeah, very different. Cool. It looks like it actually has a rear riser steering toggle, possibly. Nope, that's for that. The trim's out really fast. Stop talking while I'm going here. Maybe I'll wait until I figure it out before I actually talk about it. That's interesting. So it adds a little bulk to the riser there, but it's actually like a quick release for the trimmers. And it's got an improved uh, PK system. And yeah, it looks like the line plan layout is kind of similar. Same type of lines. One of the other improvements they made is they've taken the nylon out of it completely and they're using a new type of material in the leading edge to form it. So it's actually a type of metal that I can't really pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. But that's interesting. So this, um, I mean, it almost feels like a wire, but it's more pliable and um, doesn't hold memory as much as, uh, as the nylon. So, it's outstanding. The uh, fit and finish is incredible as always. And uh, the only thing I can't figure out is the box. Why'd they do that? But whatever, they know what they're doing. So, all right, let's stay tuned for the first test flights. Just to see. 